All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Gurong Pinoy. Hello po sa lahat ng members ng Team Bruner, our babies for Let March 2023. Again, if you are still not a member of Team Bruner, we still have some slots left for our Section B. No? Section B na po tayo. And of course, Section B is the last section that we are going to cater in Team Bruner. That's again for Let March 2023. Now, if you are uh, part of any of these majors, no? so meron po tayong Filipino, MAPE, their social science. There also is TLE and AFA. We also have our major ship for English, math, and science. And discussion one for our major ship schedules are found on your screen. This weekend, magkakaroon na po ng discussion one yung ating mga major ship. And so, habol na po kayo kapag ka hindi pa po kayo member ng ating major ship. Okay? So again, Filipino, MAPE, Social Science, TLE, and AFA are going to meet on Saturday. And of course, English, Math, and Science will be meeting on uh, Sunday schedule. Okay? So again, for specific instructions, please visit your major ship groups. Hello din po sa lahat ng members ng Team PSA. Now, of course, malapit na malapit na maging ganap na LPT, so they're just waiting for the results to come out. Okay, now tonight's discussion is centered on general education. Please do like, love, share our video. Very important that you are sharing our video so that we can reach out to more people. And of course, please send us stars on Facebook if you can. Also send us super chat, super stickers sa manjan po sa ating YouTube channel. Before we start, let's all have our opening prayer. So sama niyo po ako mga kaguro. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. All right, now once again, this is general education. I will be giving you one minute to please do like, love, and of course, share this video. If you are still not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can leave your comments. Ganun din po sa ating Facebook page. Please make sure that you are following our Facebook page so that you can also comment in our comment box para po makapag-interact um, kayo as we go over the different items that our team Bruner, of course, have answered kanina umaga. No? So this is going to be general education. Paki-like na po and love and of course share na po ng ating video so that we can all start. Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Hello sa lahat ng members ng Team Piaché. Ma'am Els or Fiano Olermo. Good evening. Team Piaché Babies. No? So ito yung mga naghihintay ng ating mga results na results natin for the licensure exam. No? October 2nd sila nag-take ng kanilang let. Ma'am May Torres Guevara from Team Piaché. Good evening po. Mm -hmm. Again, Team Piaché members, hello, good evening. Team Bruner members for March 2023, good evening din po. Team Newbies, sa mga kakatunin pa lamang first time to watch us live, good evening. We are Gurung Pinoy and we are the most reliable review uh, online review program that you can find on Facebook, also on YouTube. If you'd want to become a member of our teams and also of our major ship groups, just send a message to our Facebook page that is Gurung Pinoy. Okay, if you are watching us on YouTube, again, that's Gurung Pinoy, our Facebook page. Mag-send lamang po kayo ng private message on how you can join our teams, our major ship groups, so that you can watch the full-length video and, of course, so that you can have a copy of all our PDF files. Again, please do like, love, and share our video. Start a watch party. Tag your friends. Okay, we start with question number one. For general education, number one, Filipino. Ito ay isang uri ng morpema ayon sa kahulugan na may kahulugan sa ganang sarili. Ito ay nakakatayo ng mag-isa sapagkat may angkit itong kahulugan na hindi na nangangailangan ng iba pang morpema. Would this be letter A, morpemang pangkayarian? Letter B, malayang morpema? Letter C, di malayang morpema? Or letter D, morpemang lexical? What is our choice for question number one? Ma'am Lian Duane, naka-duty, nagre-review habang nasa duty. Good evening po. 
Okay, if you can see the captions at medyo distracted kayo with the captions, no, just click the three dots there. And of course, turn off the caption. It's, if the video is not too clear, if, it, if the video is blurry, just click the three dots and change your video quality. Okay, I see B's and D's for number one. Sino kaya ang tumpak at sino kaya ang ligwak, no? Again, napaka-importante that we all have an open mind whenever we are doing our online review, no? So okay lang po maligwak dito. This is a safe place for you to make mistakes and to commit mistakes, no? Wag lamang sa pag-ibig. And so we'd always say whenever you get a mistake, no? Or you make a mistake, just say... Ligwak pero yehe because that means you have all learned. So next time na makita nyo po yung ating item, alam na natin kung ano yung ating magiging choice. Okay, B or D ang ating tumpak na choice. Okay, so again, we are looking for a morpema na may kahulugan sa ganang sarili. No? Ito ay nakakatayo na mag-isa sapagkat may angkin itong kahulugan na hindi na nangangailangan ng iba pang morpema. The correct choice here is letter D, morpemang lexical. Okay, morpemang lexical is what we are looking for. Pasensya na po sa mga nag-letter B. First item, first ligwak, first agoy, first awit for this session, no? for tonight. Okay lang po yan, move on kaagad and make sure that you retain whatever it is that we are going to discuss tonight. Okay, so letter D for question number one. Okay, so here, you have morpemang lexical at pangkayarian. No? Yung ating hinahanap kanina was morpemang lexical. May chak na kahulugan at kabilang dito ang mga pangalan, panghalip, pandiwa, panguri, at pangabay. You all know what pangalan is in Filipino. This would be your noun. Panghalip is pronoun. Pandiwa, of course, that's the verb. Then you have panguri, your adjective. And pangabay naman, that would be your adverb. Okay, so these are your morpemang lexical. Sila ay may tiyak na kahulugan. Yung morpemang pangkayarian mo naman ay walang tiyak na kahulugan. At kailangang makita sa isang kayarian o konteksto ang mga ito upang magkaroon ng kahulugan. Okay, so that was uh, choice A kanina, no choice D po, yung ating tumpak na choice. Now, what about your malayang morpema at di malayang morpema? Medyo maraming nalin lang si malayang morpema. No? So your malayang morpema or free morpheme, ito ay mga salitang may sariling kahulugan na hindi na maaaring hatiin. Ituniturin din itong salitang ugat. Salitang ugat po ang tawag natin sa ating malayang morpema. Di malayang morpema naman ang mga salitang binubuo ng salitang ugat at panlapi o affix na nakakabit. Okay? So, for example, if you have the word ganda, no? sana all my ganda, uh, it is a salitang ugat and so we call this malayang morpema. Nakakatayo siya no, sa kanyang sarili, hindi na po pwedeng uh, maaaring hatiin no? because that's your, your root word. Ito ay inyong salitang ugat. Yung inyo namang di malayang morpema, ito yung uh, panlapi mo, no? um, maaaring nasa unahan, your unlapi, maaaring nasa gitna, yung gitlapi, or nasa hulihan, yung, yung hulapi. So pag sinabi mo ma ganda, ma is isang di malayang morpema. Okay? So, kailangan siyang nakakabit sa iyong salitang ugat na ganda para maging uh, makabuluhan. Okay? And so, lexical po yung ating hinahanap. That's letter B for question number one. Okay? We move on with question number two. Okay, still Filipino, isa pa sa nakakapagpa-nosebleed sa atin. Ang salitang parak ay nasa anong antas ng wika? Letter A, jargon. Letter B, pigeon. Letter C, kolokyal. Or letter D, balbal. Okay, we've talked about this last time, no? The last time that we had our gen ed. And so, medyo may yabang factor na tayo dito. Hello po, good evening, Sir Mike Echo. Okay. Uh, isa sa ating mga team, Piaché Babies. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Raquel Ana Hama, for sending us stars. Thank you for your support, Ma'am Raquel. Okay, what's your choice? I see D's for number two. May ilang nag-letter A. Uh, yabang factor, no? May yabang factor na yung iba. All right, letter D is the majority and that would be the right choice. Now, remember when you say balbal, ito po yung pinakamababang level ng wika, okay? Uh, it's uh, level 
uh, below your colloquial. Yung colloquial mo, most or more common than your your balbal. No? So yung balbal yung pinakamababang level ng wika, parak, for example, is part of your balbal, while police is colloquial. No? So airpads is balbal, while tatay is colloquial. Okay? So yung colloquial mo, um, pang araw-araw natin ginagamit, mas common kaysa ng, sa balbal mo. No? Sabi ni Sir PJ Mitra dito, salitang kalye, tama po yan. Yan po yung inyong balbal. Salitang kalye. Now, your jargon, when you say jargon naman, ito yung mga salitang naka, na, naintindihan lamang isang grupo ng uh, profession, for example, isang grupo ng mga tao. No? So, for example, if if you hear um, uh, the lawyers, no? nakikinig ka sa lawyers, ang dami nilang uh, pinag-uusapang medyo hindi natin naintindihan ng mga hindi lawyers, mga doktor or mga nurses, ganun din, di ba? Yung mga nagmo-mobile legends, yung mga may clan, no? meron din silang sarili nilang jargon na hindi din natin naintindihan. Okay? So, jargon, that's going to be an, an exclusive language. Exclusive language. Uh, pidgin naman, ito ang napag-usapan din natin the last time that we had Gen Ed. Yung pidgin naman, hindi kayo, uh, kayong dalawa, for example, nag-uusap at wala kayong common na salita. And so, what you use would be makeshift words. No? So, nag-e-invento kayo uh, kung bagay parang tomato English no? para lamang kayo ay magkaintindihan. So, for example, nung ako'y pumunta sa uh, Korea, yung mga Koreans, many of the Koreans cannot speak English. And of course, I can speak um, just a little Korean. No? So, uh, you would use pidgin, no? medyo invento, inventado yung mga words nyo para lamang maitawid, kumbaga, yung inyong komunikasyon. No? So, nakakatawa nung kami na, nasa Korea, uh, hindi nila alam kahit yung mga translation ng uh, food. Uh, usually, yung mga medyo may edad na yung Team Thunders, good evening po. Eh, yun yung mga medyo uh, hirap sa English. no So, kahit na meron silang fried chicken, for example, pag sinabi mong, do you have fried chicken? Sasabihin nila, wala. Pero nakikita mo, meron sa menu. So, what they do is, uh, dun po ay... Um, an ano ba yung guyod sa sa Tagalog na no, you would drag the waiters or you would drag the cashier tapos meron silang panturo na no, meron silang stick na no, merong panturo sa hulihan at ituturo mo kung saan yung gusto mo okay so pidgin na siya no? so medyo tomato english medyo tomato korean para lamang kayo ay magkaintindihan so yung uh, yung barok na language that's also pidgin na no? yung mga ginagamit ng mga uh, sinaunang chinese for example to communicate with the filipinos no so barok language that's pidgin okay we are looking for letter d again balbal that's the correct choice all right we go to uh, number three Anong uri ng pangungusap ang magandang araw po? Letter A, temporal. Letter B, sambitla. Letter C, formulasyong panlipunan. Or letter D, pamanahon. Okay, what is our choice for question number three? Again, if you still have not done it, please do like and of course, share our video. And kung hindi po kayo nakakapag-comment, maaaring you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel. At kung sa Facebook naman po at hindi kayo makapag-comment, that means you are not a follower. No? So just follow our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can uh, participate. And of course, if you can, join us in Team Bruner. No? Pangmalakas ang pag-review po yung ating paghahandang ginagawa dito sa Team Bruner. At I'm sure hindi hindi po kayo magsisisi. Okay, I see a lot of letter C's for this item. Letter C, sabi ni Ma Michelle Ortiz, nakigaya lang. Okay, the correct choice here, of course, would be letter C. Formulasyong panlipunan is our choice. Letter C, formulasyong panlipunan. That means these are the words that we would use as we communicate, as we interact with our society. No? So, ang inter interaction ginagawa natin, na kasama yung ating mga kapwa-tao, yung mga uh, sinasabi nating pananalita, magandang araw po, usually uh, it would show good values, no? proper conduct, right conduct, and good values. Values. This would be formulasyong panlipunan. Maraming salamat. Um, um, makikiraan po. Okay. Uh, kamusta ka na? No? Formulasyong panlipunan po ito. Yung temporal mo at pamanahon, halos magkaparehas. No? They would talk about nature. They would, to, they would talk about the weather. But your temporal is more temporary. Okay. Yung sambitla naman, ito yung mga 
uh, biglaan mong nasasambit. No? Kaya sambit la, biglang nasasambit. For example, when you say aray, aragoy, agoy, awit, ouch. Okay, so these are sambit la. Ay! Okay, ligwak, tumpak. Okay, so sambit la po ito. Alright, so the correct choice here would be letter C, formulasyong panlipunan. We move on with question number four. Alin sa mga sumusunod na pangalan ang hindi tahas? Letter A, pag-asa. Letter D, pagkain. Letter C, gamot. Letter D, lapis. Okay, we've also talked about this last session for Gen Ed. And so I'm pretty sure medyo mayabang factor na naman kayo dito. <laughs> Sir Glesser Dave Avila, agoy, merese, mapriso ka. Okay, number 4A. I see a lot of letter A's for number 4. Okay, yabang factor. Ang bibilis ng mga, ng mga daliri kapag ka, uh, medyo alam na alam na medyo napagdaanan na last week or the, the last time that we had Janet. Okay, 4A, ang atin pong uh, question here, no? Alin sa mga sumusunod na pangalan, your noun, ang hindi tahas? Hindi tahas, okay? So we are looking, of course, for the odd one out, the, the one that does not belong to the group. And of, of course, the correct choice here would be letter A, pag-asa. When you say tahas, these are your concrete nouns, okay? So concrete nouns po ito. Uh, that means yung inyong mga nakikita, nadidilaan, naaamoy, o gusto ng gusto niyo na didilaan na aamoy um nahahawakan nahihimas okay so these are concrete nouns for example your pagkain your gamot your lapis ito ay mga tahas na pangalan ano naman ang tawag mo sa pag-asa kung hindi siya tahas ano po ang tawag sa pag-asa okay pangalan di konkreto sabi ni Ma'am May Torres Guevara or what else Ayon, sabi ni Ma'am Henrich Pearl Medikiso, pangalang basal. Okay, so basal ang hindi konkreto. Or in English, this would be called your abstract nouns. Okay, so pangalang basal ang abstract nouns. Okay, so uh, pag-asa po yung ating tumpak na choice for number four. We move on with number five. Alin sa mga sumusunod ang isang pangalang palansak? Letter A, buwig. Letter B, pag-ibig. Letter C, bahay kubo. Or letter D, Jose. <laughs> Ayan, nadidilaan. Sabi ni Sir Mike Echo. Never been touched, never been seen. Abstract nouns. Okay, five. What is your choice? Okay, I see A's. Sa ating question number five. Again, pakishare po ng ating video. Please do not forget to share our video so that we can reach out to more people. Okay, letter A no, for number five. Karamihan choice niyo ay letter A. Okay, so sabi dito, alin sa mga sumusunod ang isang pangalan na palansak? Now, when you say pangalang palansak or lansakan, ito po yung ating mga collective nouns. Okay, so tama po yan, Facebook user. Collective noun, so that means it stands for a group. Okay, and so the correct choice here would be letter A, buwig. Okay, buwig in uh, English, of course, that means bunch. No? Usually, uh, you'd use this for your bananas. A bunch of bananas or isang buwig ng saging. Okay, so buwig ng saging, bunch of bananas. Palansak or lansakan would be collective noun. So again, pag-ibig, ito po ay... Um, Um, ano nga yung tawag natin kanina no sa sa ating basal no yung tawag natin sa ating abstract nouns bahay kubo ito po ay isang tahas no so konkreto siya konkreto and of course yung Jose mo naman ito ay isang uh, pantangi no pantangi siya na pangalan that means it is a proper noun it is a proper noun okay so letter a buwig ang ating tumpak na choice for number five we move on With question number six, ha? Bisaya pala, bulig, bulig. Okay, number six. The students who made the commotion in the library are now blank. Letter A, investigating. Letter B, investigated. Letter C, being investigated. Or letter D, investigates. Sapad. Isang sapad ng saging, sabi ni Sir PJ Mitra sa kanila. Sa amin, isang sipi, no? Sipi. Isa kasipi na saging. Okay, number six, ICCs. Mm -hmm. 
tumpak kaya ang letter C for question number 6. Again, paki-share po ng ating video. Huwag kalimutang i-share ang ating video. Okay, the students who made the commotion in the library are now letter A, investigating, letter B, investigated, letter C, being investigated, or letter D, investigates. Now, of course, ligwak na itong A or D, no? Kasi yung A or D mo, this would be your active, active voice. So that means yung students, sila yung nag investigate sila yung gumagawa ng action, no? So investigating, investigates, ay ligwak na, okay? So dapat pass passive no passive yung yung uh, voice na gagamitin dito because yung subject mo na students sila yung iniimbestigahan okay so sila po ang um, ang nagre-receive ng action imbes na sila yung gumagawa ng action okay so you are left with just b or c investigated or being investigated. Now, what hint would tell you that the correct choice is this item? Ano po yung pinaka-hint nyo? What is one word in our sentence that would give you a hint kung paano nyo makukuha yung tumpak na choice? Okay, so what is your hint in our question? What is our hint, anyone? Okay, now... Sabi ni Sir Kib Stanlawan, now, yan. Sabi ni Sir Jaime Makasinang Jr., now. Okay, so now that means it is happening at the moment. And so the correct choice would be letter C, being investigated. No? So being investigated sa kasalukuyan, sa kasalukuyan po ay nangyayari, now being investigated. You cannot say investigated because of course that would mean tapos na. No? So being investigated, that would be your uh, progressive pan or continuous pa until now nangyayari, it is not a finished action. And so letter C is tumpak for question number six. We move on with question number seven. The statistics blank that the dropout ratio this year is high. Letter A show, letter B shows, letter C had shown, or letter D will have shown. Okay, what is our choice? Number seven. Okay, question number seven. Ano po ang ating tumpak na choice? Uh huh. I see a lot of letter B's. Okay, B. Karamihan tum ang karamihan choice niyo ay B. Tumpak kaya ang karamihan, or ligwakers kaya ang karamihan. B yata sabi ni Sir Kips and Lawa na kigaya na lang. Okay, A or B, no? So, uh, nag-aagaw A or B, karamihan sa inyo ay B. Alright, the correct choice here, okay, is letter A. Show is our choice. Bakit show at hindi shows, no? Karamihan na ligwak. Karamihan po letter B yung inyong choice at karamihan sa inyo ay ligwak. Okay, so sabi ni Sir Poy, uh, apla on statistics is singular ata, kaya naging letter B yung inyong choice. Pero statistics will capital S, no? Usually capital S. This is taken as singular. Ito po yung subject such as mathematics. No? So when you say statistics is one branch of mathematics, ito po siya yung taken as singular. Pero in this case here, the statistics, okay? The statistics blank that the dropout ratio this year is high. We are not talking about the statistics as your subject. Subject as in um, yung inyong asignatura no, sa school, yung, yung uh, field of study sa school, but we are talking about your data. Okay, so data, the statistics, that means the data, the evidences. Okay, and, sh and so your, your choice here would be letter A, show. It is taken as plural, hindi po singular, because of course, you una una, you see a small letter. And um, if you try to interpret your your um, your sentence, it is talking about your data. No? So statistics here is synonymous with data. Data, of course, is also plural. The singular form is datum. Okay, and so the correct choice here is letter A, show for question number seven. Okay, ayan. Okay lang po yan. Okay lang na magkamali, no? So again, make sure that you are internalizing whatever it is that we're talking about. 
basta natututo at basta um, we are learning with fun, no? while having fun, then that's good. Okay? So, okay lang po. This is not the actual let. Okay, so letter A, show ang ating tumpak na choice. We move on with question number eight. A duck-billed platypus shows the characteristic of a mammal and not a bird because blank. Letter A, it eats other animals. Letter B, it feeds its young milk. Letter C, it makes a nest and lay eggs. Or letter D, it has webbed food. Okay, what is our choice for number eight? Okay, I see this sa ating comment box. Tumpa kaya ang letter B. All right, I see a lot of letter Bs, and of course, that is right. No? So, duckbill platypus, yung pinaka uh, uh, hint natin dito would be the term mammal. Okay, so this shows the characteristic of a mammal and not a bird because as a mammal, it feeds its young milk. Okay, so this, of course, is one very important quality of all mammals. We are all fed milk, no? So, pagdidede no from the breast milk coming from the moms ayan po yung ating ginagamit or yung ating ginagawa so that of course the young ones can be fed and so that the young ones can be nourished okay so letter b feeding its young milk having mammary glands is one characteristic of all mammals okay so letter b for question number eight number nine ayan paborito nyo 24 is three-fourths of what number? Letter A, 16. Letter B, 24. Letter C, 32. Or letter D, 30. What is our choice for number 9? Okay, number 9, I see C. Okay, letter C is for number 9. Tumpa kaya ang letter C. Okay, so again, the question here is, 24 is three-fourths of what number? Okay, now, uh, this can be equated as 24 is, is again in math, that would be equals, no? So, equal sign siya. Three-fourths of, of in math is multiply. Okay, so 24 is or equals three-fourths times x no, of what number? And so that means for us to get the value of x, we simply would divide 24 by 3 fourths, or we can also multiply 24 by the reciprocal of 3 fourths, which of course is 4 over 3. No? So uh, let me just write. Okay, so you have 24 uh, multiplied by... 4 over 3. Now, as you can see, po pwede mo siyang i-simplify, no? So, po pwede po siyang i-simplify by looking at 24 and 3 here, no? Uh, what would be your GCF between 24 and 3? Ano po yung GCF ng 24 and 3? Ano po yung GCF sa ating 24 and 3? Of course, the GCF would be 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 24 divided by 3, that would be 8, 16, 24, no? So, that would be 8. Okay, so that would be uh, 8 for 24 divided by 3. We've divided it by just your uh, GCF of 3. So now we are left with 8 times 4. And 8 times 4, of course, the correct choice th there would be letter C, 32 for number 9. Letter C, ang ating tumpak na choice. Okay, so C, 32 is the right choice. Okay, so 24 divided by 3 fourths or 24 divided by 0. 0.75 or po pwede din namang 24 times. The reciprocal of 3 fourths would be 4 over 3. Okay, so the correct choice here would be 32 letter C for question number 9. So again, if you are a member of uh, Tim Bruner, you can easily just download your PDF later. And of course, po pwede nyo din pong balikan yung ating video. All right, we move on with question number 10. Okay, the Department of Education blank K-12 before the Commission on Higher Education blank preparing for 2016. Letter A had implemented, began. Letter B has begun, implemented. Letter C had begun, implemented. Or letter D implemented, had begun. Okay, what is our choice for question number 10? 
Okay, once again, if you are not a member of Team Bruner para po makapanood kayo ng dire-diretso ng ating 30-item na discussion, and of course, that's both for Jen Ed and Prof Ed, now we have our schedule posted there sa ating groups, become a member of Team Bruner, just send a message to our Facebook page para po dire-diretso yung ating panonood, and of course, para po ma-download ninyo yung ating PDF file. Your membership is good until the day that you take the let. Kasama na po yung ating pre-board, yung ating final coaching, and of course, our classified files. And so what are you waiting for? Magpa-member na po kayo to send a message to our Facebook page. That would be Gurong Pinoy. Okay, I see a lot of letter Ds. Tumpa kaya. Now, let's try to uh, supplement. Now, let's try to supply these items sa ating blank dito. The Department of Education had implemented K-12 before the Commission on Higher Education began preparing for 2016. That's letter A. Letter B, the Department of Education has begun K-12 before the Commission on Higher Education implemented preparing for 2016. Parang mali. Okay? Letter C. Uh, the Department of Education had begun K-12 before the Commission on Higher Education implemented preparing for 2016. Or letter D. The Department of Education implemented K-12 before the Commission on Higher Education had begun preparing for 2016. The correct choice here would be letter A, had implemented and began. Now, if you can see, no, tingnan po natin yung ating choice A, had implemented uses your past perfect tense. Okay? Past perfect, your had plus your past participle. Yung began mo naman uses the past form, no? Simple past form of your verb or, or your tense, no? So, again, had implemented is past perfect. Well, began here is simple past. Now, when do you use your past perfect and when do you use your uh, simple past? Now, if you have two past actions, meron kang dalawang past actions, meron kang actions na nangyari sa past, yung unang past action, gagamitan po siya ng inyong past perfect, yung my had plus past participle. At yung next past action mo ay gagamitan mo po siya ng began. Okay? So, began naman po. Uh, yung atin pong gagamitin sa next past action. All right, so the correct choice here would be letter A, no, had implemented. Kasi naunang nangyari, itong the Department of Education had implemented bago uh, nagbigin, no, Nag nagbigin preparing for 2016 yung inyong commission, uh, commission on Higher Education or yung CHED. And so letter A po ang tumpak na choice for question number 10. All right, we move on with number 11, the Philippine government with all of its officials, blank, one of the largest institutions in Asia. Letter A was, letter B is, letter C are, or letter D were. What is our choice for number 11? <laughs> Facebook user, hello po. Sabi niya, Ma'am Mech, solve na solve na ako sa Gurong Pinoy. Never po ako nanonood ng ibang review center. Lalo lang akong nalilito. Pati sa panaginip ko, naririnig kita, Ma'am Mech. Sana po hindi bangungot ng no, Facebook user. Hindi po nakikita yung inyong name. Next time po, mag-register po kayo sa StreamYard. No? Nandiyan po sa ating link. Whenever we post a link for our live stream, meron pong may, may link po dyan yung StreamYard. I-click nyo lamang po at i-choose nyo po yung allow para po makikita ko yung inyong name whenever you comment. Okay, so kada live stream po, iba-iba yung link. Okay, 11 ICBs. Okay, tumpak na choice dito, of course, should be letter B is. Okay, so the Philippine government with all of its officials is one of the largest institutions in Asia. Kumbaga, yung pinaka-subject mo dito will just be the Philippine government. Okay, so it is singular. Itong a positive, na no, positive po yung tawag dito, nasa gitna siya ng dalawang kama, uh, yung kanya pong, um, kanyang purpose dito is to just uh, give more information now, with all of its officials is one of the largest institutions in Asia. Itong iyong a positive, those words that are between your commas, that means po pwede mo siyang i-omit kapag kinuha mo itong a positive mo, uh, yan lang ang inyong magiging sentence of Philippine government is one of the largest institutions in Asia. Okay, so letter B is ang ating tumpak na choice. We go to number 12. 
Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez blanked the position since 2016. Letter A has been, letter B has been holding, letter C will have been holding, or letter D had been holding. What's your choice? Number 12. Okay, 